Welcome aboard to another flight of the Phoenix. It's a bit of a grey day here, some high clouds. Probably good light to give you a little tour around my cockpit, my little office here, and uh, show you how everything works. Uh, how, yeah, how the system works. I show you around the cockpit. So I'm probably a little bit screen overloaded, um, but they kind of all have their purpose. So let's start on the left. I have an iPad Mini running Oz Runways. Oz Runways is the Australian uh, electronic flight bag or your uh, maps and navigation information. Um, and a little bit of traffic being picked up on that. Uh, I have behind there you've got the master, the anti master switch and the, the magnetos and starter switch. Then sort of my main flight instrument is the Dynan. Uh, so the Dynan can be used for navigation. I don't use it for navigation, so I just have it on this split screen mode. On the left is the engine information. We've got engine RPM, oil pressure, or temperature, fuel pressure, charging current, battery voltage, cylinder head, and fuel quantity. Um, then we have the flight information. Uh, so we've got airspeed on the left, if not. Below that, we've got the true airspeed. If you know about true airspeed, look it up if you don't. Uh, this is our, uh, yeah, because the thin or air wing are high. So we're taking along at the moment about 9.1 knots, true airspeed, 9 knots, gram speed. So there's zero wind up this morning. Uh, on the post today, a bit, a bit of dark, rocky cloud out to the right. But uh, for today, look down to the south. Then next to the Dynan, I have an LX9000. This is a specialist glide computer. So you can set up tasks. I don't use a lot of its function. You can set up cross-country tasks if you're flying triangle or whatever. Uh, and it gives you lots of information about your flying conditions. So, for example, if you can see it there, there's a green sort of circle around us. <laughs> that green circle is our glide distance. If the engine was to stop now, that's as far as we can reach. We've uh, and arrive at our destination at 1,000 feet. Uh, also, you know, down on the right here, you've got some special things like this is telling us minus 19,600. So we're 19,600 feet below final flying. So if we went up another 20,000 feet, we'd turn the engine off and glide to now because I've set this uh, destination to be banal. Part of that electronic kit is the variometer. So this is a fancy electronic variometer giving you lots of uh, information, so it's all digital. Um, so that can, once again, that can be configured in different ways um, to give you a variety of information that obviously um, uh, varios are most important for glider pilots when you're thermaling and looking for the Next to the radio, next to the LX is the radio, which you probably hear in the background. I've got Melbourne area, Melbourne centre, the area frequency. Um, so they are travelling away in the background, logging to burn down. A uh, few fuses, well, certain breakers. Over on the right, we have um, sort of our backup uh, uh, altimeter and airspeed indicator. I have a phone running as a Wi Fi hotspot. So both the LX9000 and the iPad are connected to the internet through my phone. So if I zoom out here, for example, you will see not only where I've been flying the last week, but you'll see that rain up to the north. Uh, so you can see we're raining up there and coming our way, so I'm going to get ahead of that. Um, so that's the dark clouds over there. So uh, I think if I zoom out on here also, I will also get the rain coming up. So that all comes from the Wi-Fi connection to my phone sitting over there. So yeah, there the, the um, LX is loaded up the same weather, weather data. So uh, we can keep an eye on the weather from there. I've also got connected to my SkySide account. There won't be anything coming up there today, but I can call up uh, the thermal wave and emergence originally 
Aussie outlet is 9,000 no delay to current. Sky site map and not what to do where the link should be. A few other things around here, apart from the control sticks, which of course we do the plane with. I'm on autopilot at the moment, by the way. There's a little red button up here. It engages the autopilot. So the autopilot's set at the moment at 5,500 feet. Um, and a heading of 062, which is a little bit left of um, the path direct to the Nala because we've got a little bit of controlled uh, closed airspace to go around. So we can go north of that red patch. Uh, so it's the sort of thing that of runways tells you that that airspace is active. It's a weekday. That's the Pakistanian Army base. So um, we'll just make sure we go around the corner of that, not flip the corner and upset anybody. Um, Another important thing in the Phoenix is this red handle. Um, so a long, hard pull of that handle, and there's a parachute in the back with a rocket, which uh, the rocket blasts out as the fuselage breaks the parachute out, uh, and that parachute's attached to the main spar, so the whole aircraft comes down safely. Um, in a clearly a very worst case scenario, but that's the, the safety backup. Um, We've got some fresh cabin air, I've got a cabin teaser. Uh, I've got the power flap closed because it's six degrees outside. I'm actually struggling to get the engine warm enough. It would be good if the engine could get up to about 90 degrees oil temperature because that makes sure there's no moisture in the oil when I leave it. Uh, but I can't, so gold. Uh, code for starting a vernier throttle, so you push the button to go up and down in throttle. Uh, or turn the vernier. And down between the two of us, we have this two of us here. We have the air brake, which I'm not going to open now. We've got flaps. Could put it to negative. Uh, why don't I do that? I've got a negative flap while we're cruising along. Um, so it's negative four degrees. And the, the uh, elevator trim. Uh, give it a little control down there. Uh, so that's about it. That's my little cockpit and a uh, quick tour around inside. My little Phoenix motorbike.